Hello, and welcome to No Such Thing as a Bad Movie Podcast. I am April Itmanski, and I'm here today with... Ah, Justin Nicklow! <laughs> and Theodore Cunningham. <laughs> and today we're talking about Theodore Rex, the Whoopi Goldberg... Dinosaur movie. Uh, uh, contractually obligated film? Is that what you're trying <laughs> yeah, to say? Sorry. I'd yeah. be calling Rex because everybody's called uh, Rex in this movie. Mm. It also sounds are. like you're saying like call call in Rex, like Colin, uh, like you're calling Yeah, no one's ever Rex. made that joke about Colin's name before. No. I guess not. <laughs> Colin, Colin. I'm, I'm the first one. Yep, ever. It's amazing. <laughs> it's I, can't, I can't believe we captured it here on the podcast recording. Justin, do people have jokes about your name? Like this uh, just in or yeah. something? Yeah, stuff um, like that. And then I say, I don't like that. Please stop. And then they stop. <laughs> well, I mean, I... Uh, I, 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 I would have killed Joy. I also have people make jokes about it. Literally, anytime I ever mention that my birthday is in April. Well, is that why they named you April? It's been happening my whole life. And you know what I say? It would be dumb if I wasn't born in April. Yeah. So there you go. Wait, so you're saying people who are named April that are not born in April, they're just losers? They're wrong. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. born in like May. Well, you're not going to call someone like March. Wait, there's well, probably some Marches out there, right? March? I think <laughs> March could be like a, a boy or a girl name. Yeah. March? Um, like March. M-A-R-C-H. Yeah, M-A-C-H. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> R-C-H. February? I think that's a terrible name. <laughs> Feb- I've never met a February. I mean, there's lots of August. Febby. There's hey, Junes Feb- and May. Yeah. Junes and May. How come um, April, June, and August get a pass, but then Februarys are... <laughs> yeah, and like there's the, no the like, like October. October Johnson or something, <laughs> or December, uh, November. November no one's Jones. Naming, naming anybody those names. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jan- January Jones. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, you there you go. Yeah. Um, so... It can't be a real name. Uh... Okay, so uh, Theodore I'm looking here, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's uh, women that are called December. It's considered a feminine name. Oh, there you go. Hey, there was that movie uh, we saw. Was it May December? May December. There I don't know go. why it was called that though. Oh, it wasn't. Her, it wasn't <laughs> oh. the star's name. I don't no, think so. May December is an expression to mean like young and old. Oh, yeah, it's uh, a May December romance. Okay. Yeah. I didn't uh, didn't know that. Um, there you go. All right, so we're trying to avoid talking about this movie. Um, yep, uh, Justin. <laughs> What have you done? Why did you make us watch this? I found this? it when I was purging my DVDs. I had oh. bought it in New York for two ninety nine from Book Off. I can't believe you transported this across the border. <laughs> and I was like, and I like that there's a sticker on it. Sorry, not two ninety nine. It used to be six five ninety nine. Then there's a sticker over that says two fifty. So that's how much I paid for it. American. American. Yeah. So that's so like that's ten dollars like, yeah. Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Did you declare it when when you were like coming <laughs> <Yeah>. over? <laughs> I'm coming in with Theodore Rex. I'm going directly oh, to the a Whoopi farm. Goldberg movie? <laughs> yeah. All right. April, you're my age, so when we went to the video store, we saw a lot of Theodore Rex. <laughs> yeah, I definitely recall seeing this cover and mm. but i never saw this as a kid but i was no. thinking today why would you watch this well i was when you had like adventures in dinosaur city exactly well, much superior <laughs> film you know how much i hated that is that this is much worse <laughs> even yeah. though that had a much lower budget um yes that was way better than this it, still it had, had a lower budget than the 35 million dollars <gasps> yeah. that I, I, yeah the the, the, that is insane to me but it, it like you can tell watching it. I'm like, this was not a cheap movie. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this, um, and that doesn't mean it's good in any sense of the word. No. but that they just burned big a lot of money. Sets, explosions, um, fake guns. It, it's costumes. and what rules yes. about this movie is that it's like basically an independent production too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. But I was like, it was giving me the Super Mario vibes. Like the yes, the same... I was shocked looking through the credits that no one worked on Super Mario Brothers. Wow, that's maybe crazy. they were part of the original cast that left this movie. Uh, <laughs> In between pre and, and production. Oh, yeah. yeah this movie right. took six it's years. Crew, rather. Like, like a diamond you're cutting away to perfection <laughs> yeah. to get Theodore Rex. I mean, uh, but is... yeah, like if I saw this as a kid, I don't think I would like it. But I like I could see why maybe me as a child would be like, I want to watch this because I was obsessed with dinosaurs. And I did watch that Dinosaurs TV show. Yeah. We'll the same Goldberg. person worked on that that worked on this. <laughs> yeah. Know? Oh, you would never know other than the fact that all the dinosaurs in this look exactly like the dinosaurs from the TV show Dinosaurs. But, but much worse. <laughs> yes. Like the, the, the TV show looked better. Yeah. Right? The expressions. As soon as he started talking, it's like his mouth is not even trying to make like the, no. the shapes. 
to form those words. And like his face is so long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it makes every scene like a logistical nightmare about You know where what else is long? Move. His tail. Yeah. I hope there'll be a lot of jokes about that in this movie. Oh, and by that I mean boy. the only joke in the movie. But it's not even like for jokes like purposefully. Uh, it's like it makes every scene awful. Like Whoopi is like running into the tail all the time like in like by accident, like it wasn't part of the script. Yeah, it's tell. always knocking over stuff. It just like drags out every scene. Like, Did you guys times. read the oral history of this that came out <laughs> nine years ago? No, no, I don't think so. Any bad movie that we have to do, I always search oral history. And if it's famous enough, there usually is one. Yeah, I think it was paid for by the How Did This Get Made crew. Oh, and that's it's right. really good. Yeah. It has like the director, the producer, whose name is like Stefano Ferrari. Ferrari. Maybe he's uh, one unrelated, of the Unrelated, unrelated. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, think so. And he's like a uh, pharmaceutical uh, he- hair. Yeah, I can't say it. Uh, oh, you know, air. 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 Yeah. There we go. You got it. And uh, it was produced, well, originally produced by the guy who did Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Uh, okay. Richard Gilbert a- Abramson, but he was fired or banned from the set after they sued Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, because Whoopi, I guess, agreed to, but she didn't really agree to. And then they were able to prove in court that she did agree yeah, to it. Yeah, what, what happened was that like she said, we're going to do it. And they moved forward with that oral agreement. Mm-hmm. And then she stopped returning their calls and they couldn't get her on the line. Finally, they're like, we're suing you. What? What? what they thinking like i know like honestly they were just asking for this performance but then i also read that like you know on set she was like in good spirits like she was she also got paid seven million dollars exactly but they said she asked for two two million extra money well they they recorded her uh agreeing so she called the producer's house apparently it was an accident it it went to uh voicemail voicemail (laughs) And he just picked up the phone at the same time, and it, he was talking to her while she was being recorded, quote unquote. And un- so it caught her going, "I'm a hundred percent committed to the project." <laughs> yeah, and like the thing is, is like uh, all of this like bad stuff happening, you know, behind the scenes. No wonder the movie is so bad. But I mean, like, there's 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 movies that have you know bad blood going on and oh, horrible, horrible film blood. sets, and then yeah. end up being good. But that's that's not. The, nah, that's I'm going to put it to the feet of uh, writer director Jonathan. Betuel? Betuel? Yeah. Of my science project fame? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's uh, apparently terrible. Yeah, just bad. And also, <laughs> this is the worst script to. I think I've ever read or witnessed. Well, you read that? <laughs> yeah. You ordered out yeah. the Theodore <laughs> exactly. Rex uh, script to give like, it a read? The story makes no sense. It's needlessly complicated. Every line is stupid. And like the characters are poorly thought out. And it just sucks. And uh, I don't think I don't you can know. make this Here's work. The thing. If I was given a choice to watch this... <laughs> or The Adventures of P- Pluto Nash. Oh. I think I'd, I'd watch Pluto, Theodore I, Rex I'd watch again. Pluto Nash. I think I would watch this. Oh, yeah. what? I think. I think like, that... There's nothing in... Adventures no, I, of Pluto I Nash. agree. There is at least things to look at in this, but it's so annoying that the uh, audio wise, like, yeah. and, and it's because of all this dubbing of the dinosaurs. What are you talking about? You need to fill every second with <laughs> exactly. just talking, not yeah. even jokes. Just like, hey, I'm walking here, yeah, or like just exactly. banter. There's Watch out for my so tail. Annoying. There's a scene where he wakes up in his uh, apartment at the very beginning, and he's like getting ready for the day, having a shower and whatnot. He doesn't shut up for, like no. one second. No one is there. No, he's just <laughs> talking to himself. He's talking to himself hey now i'm brushing my teeth da, da, da. Look, <laughs> hey <laughs> and then, like a thing where he starts to leave the house and goes oh, i need a cookie and yeah. then like a machine cookie. shoots a cookie into his hand <laughs> that's the joke there's nothing else that's it it's just supposed to be like look at this world is whimsical i guess that's the other thing i don't understand the world building it's the future but all of these sets look like a you carnival. didn't understand when there was a very dune david lynch's dune like <laughs> yeah. uh scroll with the not james earl jones y- yeah speaking. once upon a time in the future <laughs> explaining what happened in the movie even though that it's set up as a reveal later on yeah, yeah. it's like let's get it out of the way and to, to to be fair i needed that because i could not remember or keep track of what the hell was happening in this movie no and like who like the bad guys are and what the fuck his plan was to make a uh, new to make world. a new ice age and then you will get into an arc and survive <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh, for what purpose though? I don't this know. movie it start the opening scene after the the whatever the text oh very school. stylish it is like i'm like am i watching nightbreed or something oh no i thought yeah. am i watching van helsing or something like that because it was in black and white it's like black and white it's yeah. like black and white has this like danny elfman-esque music uh 
yeah it's like yeah i mean i don't like the music in this but it wasn't as annoying as like geely was last week i mean that was worse but it it What's annoying about this movie is more like the talking and less the music, but the music is still... It's constant. It's, it's too much. It's bombast. It's kid movie stuff. Well, yeah. that's uh, Super Mario Brother syndrome. That's like, yeah. shut up. Yeah, just yeah. keep it going. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're introduced to uh, Stephen McHattie. I got to say, this movie has like, it has some really heavy hitters. Like the bad guy is like Armin <laughs> Stephen Mueller. Stephen McHattie. Stahl. <laughs> heavy hitter. I don't like Stephen McHattie. You got <laughs> such heavy hitters as Stephen McCaddy, uh Bud Carol, Court from Harold and Bud, Bud, Bud Court, Carol Kane, Richard Roundtree, <laughs> looking like he yeah. does not know where he is <laughs> or what he's doing. Well, I don't uh, know either. <laughs> the dark, the sky is dark for all the stars. Are in Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> Armin, Armin Armin Mueller Stahl, that <laughs> old guy that? that's German. <laughs> he's like, uh, Colin said he's an Oscar winner. He's, he's got he was Oscar nominated. He was Jeffrey Rush's father in Shine. Yeah, uh, like he has a filmography where he's acted in like a thousand things, German yes. and like English stuff. Mm. But then you're like, wait, oh yeah, I guess he is in X Files, the movie, The Peacemaker, Mission to Mars, Thirteenth <laughs> yeah, Floor. He's, he always plays four? like a sinister bad guy. Well, yeah, European good, bad guy. I think he was in uh, history, or not history of violence. Uh, he Eastern was Promises. in Eastern Promises, yeah. Yeah, he was really I was like, creepy. wait, is this the guy that's like diplomatic immunity? No, no, and no. Lethal <laughs> Weapon 2. No, that's no, no, completely different. but I could see you getting them confused. He came, he came long after. He has this very deep voice that talks like this. He kind of sounds like Udo Kier a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's like we couldn't get Udo Kier, so we got this guy. (laughs) Can you imagine if Udo Kier was in Theodore Rex? I would Uh, love that. Very believable. (laughs) Uh, I'm I'm shocked they didn't like sue him into doing it. (laughs) (laughs) We'll just sue the stars into being in our movie. Yeah, that's that's a perfect. uh, (laughs) Right, that's right. This actor, the German actor, was a fastbender guy of uh, Rainer Werner Fastbender in his German films. Yeah, but yes, he's in this movie, uh, collecting a paycheck, doing his thing. Mm Hmm. Okay, he gives it his all, man. So yeah, so we get in this movie, we meet our good friend Theodore, we kind of explain the opening, he walks around his somehow uh, gigantic, barren, and not wacky enough apartment. <laughs> yeah, it, it has like to be it, that big because he is big. It's kind of, yeah, it looks like very kind of Pee Wee's Playhouse-esque. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, shitty. It's yeah. like your parents tell you you're going to Pee Wee's Playhouse, and it's like, <laughs> even as a child, you know, it's it's wrong. Kind of like the Niagara Falls Pee Wee's Playhouse. I'm thinking of that like Willy, Willy Wonka, Wonka thing, thing that just happened. Yeah. In the news. Oh, I was thinking and of, Glasgow. have you seen that photo at the Wax Museum with like the gigantic deformed like Bart Simpson? <laughs> I think I think so. Send us yeah. a picture of it. It used to be my profile picture of me like sitting with some and like Bart's pants are down for some reason. At Niagara Falls? Yeah, it's like yeah. part of a wax museum. I mean, I've, I've been like, to that wax museum. And it's oh, like that wax museum is so funny where like everyone is kind of off almost as if they can yeah. do it so they don't have to pay the rights. <laughs> they, yeah. have, they have those ones of like, it's like... There's nothing funnier to me than searching like bad wax people <laughs> online. Like, there's one of like Face Off. It's like uh, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. Oh, they don't look I think Cage. that may be from that wax museum. <laughs> it is probably, but it's like. Or they always do like an Indiana Jones where they just get somebody and they just put like a, a kind of a fedora on them. And yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, they're Indiana Jones. Put a whip oh, in his hand. Or there's... The photo I have of the wax museum doesn't have. The Bart Simpson who looks like really bad. Oh. But uh, it has ever... me with, like, the proportions are all off. Homer has tiny legs for some reason. Uh, the, they have Wait, the looking... spike problem with Lisa and Maggie that their heads just look oh, like. Oh, boy. Why, yeah. why is Marge wearing a not green? Their clothes are all the wrong color. Uh, well, Homer's wearing is it an Bart orange Simpson? Shirt. Yeah, Marge is wearing. Like, oh, I just a saw Sunday. Bart Simpson is gone. I Bart think... Simpson totem expelled from Niagara Falls. <laughs> I think Justin, do I have? Oh wait, wait, I have him. It looks like oh, posting this he picture. looks so sad because I know there's a like, photo with me. But it looks of, like they've confused. Him. It looks like they've confused Bart with Homer. Like oh they've God. mixed them together. Like the Homer <laughs> Look at Bart. Bart looks like a murderer. He's doing like the Stanley Kubrick eyes. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> If you so guys the photo, see I have these. another photo of me with him, and like his <laughs> pants are down. No, it looks like he looks like he's stoned or he's about yeah. to die. <laughs> oh, I have tons of photo from this wax museum. Oh my folks, I have me sitting you, with Forrest Gump. <laughs> if you want to see with these Mr. pictures, T. check out this episode on YouTube because I will link them. I will put them in the video here. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Forrest Gump, he looks so disgusted. Yeah, he looks Mr. Like- T is like behind <laughs> like trapped like a like a like a zoo animal for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right our, po- <laughs> our podcast listeners cannot see these pictures i again, had unless I had you're on youtube Car- right now there's like a jim carrey there that was really <laughs> funny <laughs> colin is weeping with laughter oh crying <laughs> oh um, anyway an, uh, another fun thing is just to look up beetles wax uh, yeah. figures uh <laughs> oh you mean well, endlessly that peter funny. jackson video will come up right <laughs> <laughs> oh it's my just God. steals from get this back Jim Carrey is like horrifying <laughs> what are his somebody doing? stop me <laughs> <laughs> why are his hands like that okay. Okay, it looks like I've... his arm is like broken <laughs> I apologize to our <laughs> listeners that you cannot see these pictures. <laughs> Again, so please check make us out on YouTube, YouTube and search to see it. these pictures. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you guys still <laughs> alive? You just went silent. Oh, God. Okay. No. Um, I don't know how we got talking about wax figures. Oh, but, God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I said the Pee Wee set looked like uh, the Niagara Wax Museum yeah. version of Pee Wee. <laughs> That's why. I'm just thinking yeah, of that. Yeah. <laughs> That Willy Wonka thing oh, in yeah. Glasgow. Did you hear uh, about that, Justin? Yeah, of course I did. God. Everybody did. <laughs> just, it's really fucking it's so funny. funny. Did you see the like ch- the chocolate river and it's just like a picture of like, <laughs> yes. like chocolate? It was, it was a scam. Taped on the floor. I think the most impressive <sighs> thing about that that like parents had Willy Wonka fever and they just went off of a Facebook ad to this like yeah. fifty dollar event. It was like Wild. capitalizing off of the Wonka movie. Clearly, oh god, it's so funny. Um, but there's yeah. just like a printed out. I kick. would love a like Jim Carrey the Ace Ventura experience. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it would be like take out all the racism. Uh, actually, and there and was one at Disney. There was like a live animal show where it was like Ace Ventura oh. with animals. There's like an Ace Ventura <laughs> impersonator with yes. animals doing tricks. I would see that. Would it just be like? But they can't call it that. So it's just like animal. No, detective. no, they had the rights. <laughs> oh my wow. god! Disney got the rights. Yeah, in the nineties, <laughs> Disney like bought all the rights of like the Ninja Turtles and all the stuff with the Disney oh parks. Oh my god! I'm just trying to picture like the knockoff scam version that you get. It'd be an animal yeah. detective. <laughs> the animal detective. Maybe Do you know that Ace Ventura Junior. The live action movie series is with Ace Ventura's son. What? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Joe covered that on Hats Off, but so, I didn't know there were multiple movies. I thought oh, there was maybe just, it was just one. one. It was he like, died during his first case or something like <laughs> was that. Was it like yeah. Andy Milanakis or whatever his name is? I don't no, know who that is. No, it's not Andy Milanakis. That would have been very funny if it was Andy Milanakis. <laughs> Who's that? Like a 40 year old man playing Ace oh, Ventura. It's Jr. like a little kid. It's like a young Sheldon situation. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, God. <laughs> Anyway, Theodore Rex's room has to be that big because later they got to fit two dinosaurs in there that are going to spin around. And he has a dog. Yeah. Yep, a little dog. This uh, dinosaur has a dog. Um, Now, when I first heard of this movie... uh, You were like, I can't wait to watch it. No, this is what I thought. I legitimately thought that John Travolta did the voice. (laughs) Why? (laughs) Because he sounds a little bit like John Travolta, at least Uh, from what I heard at the time. You're confusing with a very famous voice actor who's done such things as the voice of Superman in Justice League. It's true, um, but I haven't really... I wasn't. I looked through his filmography and I wasn't like, oh yeah, like I watched that. I don't think I saw anything that he's done, but he's done a lot of cartoons and he, some live. Yeah, he, he, to, to be guy. fair, he did John Travolta's voice in the uh, Saturday Night Fever series, <laughs> <laughs> the animated, animated series. series. <laughs> Saturday of, Night Fever Junior. Lots of rape in that. Oh, no, they took it out for the cartoons. So. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. It's like um, Rambo doesn't kill anybody in the Rambo cartoon. Apparently, <laughs> this guy, what's his name? Uh, the, the voice of Rex. He, oh, uh, George Newbern. He, he was in uh, Saw 6, I think. Was he really? I saw it in the credits. I don't think I saw Saw 6. Justin, you're a huge Saw head. You would know him. Well, there's so many characters in these movies. It's true. Yeah. Well, he, he, did the, he did the voice of Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. I, oh, okay. I now know who Sephiroth is because I watched a, a video about the new Final Fantasy. Maybe he was like four he was, hours long. He was no, one of no, Saw's no, was victims, like but he was in his like Theodore <clears throat> Rex costume. Sephiroth, oh, I wish. Sephiroth has this like Oh man, giant if Saw sword. was like 
uh, there's one helper you didn't know was helping me. And then the doors open and it's Theodore Rex. I'd be like, yes. Uh, well, wouldn't it be funny if like Theodore Rex showed up in like Space Jam or something? It's like, we got the rights. Remember? No, remember no Theodore I don't think Rex? it would be funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not watching. There's Theodore Rex. Well, yeah. I would laugh. Yeah, that Beside, would be a joke uh, for like I don't no know, one. the nuns from uh, The Devils, Ken Russell's The Devil. <laughs> Yeah, or maybe they're the nuns from Sister Act. Who could tell? Right? Uh, wax figure Bart Simpson. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. there. Oh man, yeah. wax figure Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite version. He looks so depressed. right after Gulf War Bart Simpson. <laughs> yeah, S- speaking out against the Gulf War. Oh God. Uh, so wait, uh, yeah. where, where, so where, what where, happens? So okay. we get a cookie we, shooter. We haven't we talked get, about Whoopi Goldberg. Now, at when all. I think of like you know action star, you know. Action set pieces. I'm thinking, you know, one of the co-hosts of The View, Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. You know what? Now, it should be said, Whoopi was a... Mm, 1996. She was a little late in her run. But she had, like, headline action movies. Who can forget Jumpin' Jack Flash? Oh, that's right. Okay. So she was, she could be, like, a badass wasn't cop. Wasn't there one with her and the mustache guy? Oh, yeah. The mustache. Tom Selleck? No. Armin mueller Stahl. No. The guy from The Big Lebowski. <laughs> Oh yeah, there, that's right. Um, um, I can't think of his name right God, now. God, Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Was there? Was, was that an action? I think that's Jumpin' like Jack a, Flash. Oh, is it? Okay, I thought there was another one, but or I, maybe Fatal Beauty. Is that's another the one, one I'm thinking of. Yeah. But yeah. Is he Sam Elliott in that? I think yep, Sam Elliott's in that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, so obviously, Whippy Goldberg. She's she's pulling a Dakota Johnson, and she's acting sarcastically in this. But can you blame her after the uh, years of of going through <laughs> you know crap with this? And uh, I don't think she's. I mean, I love Whoopi. I used to watch The View, <laughs> and I thought she was good on that. And uh, I remember when Top Five, that Chris uh, Rock. Uh, Chris Rock movie came out, which I really, really like. It's a rom com, but he plays it himself, and he had to do a similar movie. Like, I don't think he plays himself. Yeah, he plays. Well, he plays a, a Chris Rock like fictional character. version of himself. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. It, his character in the movie had to do like a buddy cop movie. I think with like a giant bear or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he came on The View to, to promote this. Oh. And Whoopi is like, this is based on me, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, no. And she's like, T-Rex? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's, she doesn't... Well, the movie used to be called T-Rex. So oh, okay. uh, that's probably why. But it was just funny. <laughs> and also, I'm saying it right now, my favorite thing about this movie... Uh, Whoopi Goldberg's outfit. I like the tactical <laughs> gear. Uh, yeah. I would wear that as a Halloween costume. No one would know who I was, but I like. Well, I like well, it. if you get maybe a significant <clears throat> other dressed up like a giant T Rex, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like knocking over stuff. No, April, I mean, April, don't put the blackface. Yeah, on. no, no. I was gonna say like all the all the cops, the female cops, have this outfit though in yeah. the movie. But I like it. It's like very form fitting. It's kind of sexy, but it's again, like it's tactical. It's like a little bit like leathery, like S and M a little bit kind of, I don't know. It felt somewhat futuristic and, uh, you know, (laughs) dinosaurs aside, there's a lot of costumes in this movie. Like they cared. Like, there's I mean, there's yeah, variety. The, you know? That's what I'm saying. It's like it, it definitely didn't look cheap because it's like there's costumes, all the sets. Uh, it's like this sort of post-apocalyptic future. It, very Super Mario. Um, and yeah, when, but not as good. <laughs> mm, well, I, 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 well, I, I will say, I say Super Mario is better than this. Yes, I would 100 yeah. percent agree. And that world it but felt more. The lived Super Mario in. Brothers animated movie is still <laughs> under Theodore Rex. Really? How dare you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a reaction out of April. Maybe it just needed some uh, some clarinet music. <laughs> some take on me. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah. So now we we're introduced to Whoopi's character, her and her partner, or I don't know. There's a almost Hudson Hawk style action scene in this. Whoopi yes. gets dragged behind a truck. Yeah. But it, what what happens? Like a garbage truck is like chasing a, a rollerblader, and then they shoot the rollerblader. And then yeah, they're... no, they know the truck is coming because they jump onto it, and she goes through like the plate glass top of the car. I right. think that they were transporting a dead body or something. Because later they're like, "We lost the body because the cops got on us." So they knew that this truck had bad guys. Well, they in they it. shot the guy. They murdered yeah. him <laughs> in in this kid's okay. movie, and then the truck drove over him, and then they pulled him up inside the truck. We have the comedic stylings of Bud Court for the kids here, who's like, meow, 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 meow. I don't know who that is, but he was so fucking annoying in this movie, yes. and all of his henchmen have like sped up voices, yes. like pitched up voices. All all uh, of the stuff in this movie stinks of test screenings that don't mm-hmm. work mm-hmm. Yeah. and them trying to find solutions. The yeah. opening crawl, 
the endless music, mm-hmm. the forced wackiness and endless off-screen jokes. Yeah. yeah. I will say I do like probably my favorite thing. I don't know. Stephen McCaddy's kind of fun, but the... The, the little glowing eyed like rollerblader people I kind of like their design um, they have annoying the Jawa annoying, voices yeah they sound like Jawas yeah they sound like Jawas <laughs> the design I guess is it's there's, different you there's know? like a kind of truck chase later with Theodore Rex and then uh, I don't know like six of them or something like attack his, his truck and I'm you know I was like oh this would be pretty cool in like a different movie well these types of characters were in the 90s movies all over the place oh, yeah. you got oh, like yeah. the gang in like Batman and Robin it's like there's everyone like, was rollerblading the splatter in the punks and uh, what was that uh, one of the Robocop Robocop 3 Robocop 3, <laughs> three. Splatter yeah. punks. Yeah. I'm surprised they weren't like graffiti artists as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, they just rented these sets. They can't do anything uh, to them. <laughs> Please do not. They wouldn't get mm-hmm. the deposit back. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the production designer or some creative p- uh, person on the team is like, we got to you know plan exactly how to light each section of the movie. So we need to track where the characters are going at what point in the city. And I'm like... Boy, you guys got your priorities very wrong yeah, on you're, this. Yeah, you're overthinking this. <laughs> well, at least they cared about something. Yeah, I guess. That's what I will say about this movie is that it feels like, it's not like an incompetent bad movie. It's like too many people had too many ideas, I guess. All not of them, quite all like of them the terrible. Super Mario Brothers movie. There's less ideas uh, than that. Yeah, um, I think it's a little, there's there's too much of an empty feeling in this movie. I agree. The sets feel empty. Yeah. Um, my brain yeah. felt empty when I watched it. And at like 93 minutes, it feels endless. Should we talk about <laughs> endless. How, endless. Should we talk about how we watch this movie? Sure. Um, so this movie is not available um, widely. Uh, I did see that there's a low res <laughs> version on YouTube, but we got our hands on a, a version of it that looked okay. That was part of Joe Bob Briggs's drive-in, what have you. Um, oh, wait. So was this an old episode or a new episode? An old, old one. Yeah. So it had his um, you know intro and so he's like he no boobs, in. no bre- no <laughs> bodies. He, but he really did not like Whoopi Goldberg. He called her Whoopi. Um, but uh, I've never seen this man. I don't know who he is. I mean, now I do. But people love uh, Joe Bob. I know Briggs. people uh, really, really I, I love. Don't, him. don't look into his politics, everyone. Well, the <laughs> thing is, I don't want to insult anyone listening, but like it made this movie, which already felt endless, seem much, much longer. Interminable. And the the way we were watching it, it made it difficult to just skip past it because it kept sliding all over the place. So yeah. like, hey, we have to watch <laughs> it. And he's, just, he's it's just like he keeps cutting in and, and making bad jokes. I, I tried. It's like you know, I. I do not like the Mystery Science Theater 3000, uh, that type of stuff. I just find it yeah. like so non fun, like just completely not. It's not my thing comedy. either. Yeah. Just unfunny. I didn't grow up with it. And so but and it's it, not really MST3K ish. No, but like, it's just like, it's just painfully unfunny to watch. I'm like, what, <laughs> really what bad is jokes. What's well, like, are the jokes supposed to be bad? Is that fun? I, I, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, but anyway, yes. it, okay. Okay. Well then, <laughs> success. But I mean, I'm glad that we <laughs> got, got our me. hands on a, on a, good copy of it but it's just like i don't know am i a hypocrite because i'm you know i have a bad movie podcast and then yes. i'm like hey mister stop stop saying this movie is bad when i'm about to do that on an hour long also podcast. you watch like four hour videos about this stuff as well yeah exactly. where people basically do that <laughs> yes um, which is yes. why yeah, like, grandpa you need to be a little bit more fast paced when you do this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah whoopee I bet you that's the sound that her parents made when they conceived her. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like stuff like that. And it's like, oh, you know. right. oh. And it's like I, le- I got really scared because he started going, out. Well, her name sounds Jewish. And I'm like, oh, yeah, my God, is he going to go oh, off? No. And I just like yeah. my blood ran cold. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, boy. Um, but anyway, I know people love him, but, uh, oh, they love him. Yeah. I think you're making on, no, uh, no, you're making no friends on this. I only well, enemies. Just, I think he's on Shutter now. It came on Shutter is his new show, but I had no idea who he, who he was. Cause we no. didn't. Oh yeah. He's been around forever. I know. We don't, I've never heard I of him. I was Canada. confusing him with Joe Don Baker for many years. <laughs> Oh um, man, you yeah. thought that like Joe Don Baker came back to Shutter? He's hosting a horror <laughs> movie. Like, yes, <laughs> I got these two men confused. Ninety-year-old Joe Don Baker <laughs> being like, "We're about to watch uh, Shark to Puss." <laughs> <laughs> Well, we don't have Shudder um, because uh, there wasn't enough on there that we were really watching, and the quality was a little low. It was only 720p. I wonder if it's mm. it's better. It's probably better now. Yeah, it should be. How dare they not have 1080p in this? Well, game yeah. this episode is brought to you by Shudder. <laughs> yeah, it's like well, we're I, sitting here saying we don't even pay for it. We don't have get it. one free month. <laughs> yeah. No, I unsubscribe because we had too many subscriptions going on, and we it was just, just weren't watching it. Weren't watching it. 
Um, mm. Maybe I'll come well, back. Well, Theodore Rex was on there. Maybe you could have watched. I could it's have. True, right? But now there's actually stuff I want to watch, so maybe I'll, I'll try it out. Yeah, again. there's some <laughs> original movies on there that I would want to watch. This is the reverse marketing that we're doing. <laughs> yeah, here, <so. laughs> yeah. Please give oh, us not money. Subscribe, but I, I kind of want to get a subscription to <laughs> Shutter. <laughs> yeah. We could get rid of Paramount Plus. Now, I didn't ask you guys this question. Last time we did a dinosaur movie, mm-hmm. when we took an adventure to the city of dinosaurs, mm-hmm. uh, do you guys like dinosaurs? Or did you like it when you were a kid? Well, as a kid, I was a, I loved dinos. Now, I'm not too sure because all the dinosaur movies now are bad. Yeah. You know, they're all like the new yeah. Jurassic World. I never saw that 65, but I heard not great yeah, things. Yeah, it's not very good. I kind of like, mm. I mean, everybody was dino crazy when Jurassic Park came out. Yeah. I mean, sorry, when the Super Mario movie came out. <laughs> you know, so, you know, everybody do the <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that, that sort of like... I don't know, it reinvigorated my, my dino interest. But as a kid, yeah, I wasn't like dinosaur crazy that I can oh, remember. Oh, I was dino crazy. But we used to go to the ROM all the time, the museum. Yeah, and, like and I'd, the I'd go back to the ROM. Uh, that's the museum where we live. I would go back now specifically just to see the dinosaur stuff. Yeah. Do you know those dinosaur, like the, the skeletons that are up in the air? There's only like one real bone in those and I know. everything yeah, else is fake. it's a replica. I, I heard yeah. that years ago. Mm-hmm. It's still pretty cool though. I oh, always like remember- a dagger through my heart. I know, and I heard that. I remember- the, uh, there used to be this like the giant squid set up at the ROM. Mm. And then oh, would... we had a, there was a giant squid at the ROM? Well, when I was a kid and I, it used yeah. to be the scariest kind of corner, it was kind of tucked into this alcove and it was like a giant squid. Uh, life size. It was like life size, like all done with like paper mache or whatever. But then they'd mm. had like this sort of caustic uh, lighting on it. Like, <laughs> you know, like the, oh, the water yeah, reflections and stuff. Well, there's the famous one in New York where it's a squid fighting the whale. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. it's in that movie. Subject, the, the, squid the squid and the and whale, the whale. Yes. <laughs> the Noah Baumbach movie. Oh, there you mm. go. I, we had the Nature Museum in Ottawa, which I probably have yeah. been to a hundred times as a child, to the point that I like slept over with like probably Cub Scouts more than once. Really? Oh, in cool. the museum? Yeah, and you could just run around the museum at night before you went to bed, too. It ruled. What? That's, that's crazy. That's kind of neat, yeah. I don't know. I, I should ask my parents how they did that because like I slept over at like the nature museum. I slept over at the, for some reason I went a lot to the air museum in Ottawa, which is very yeah. boring. I have that, no interest that's in like airplanes. That's like the military air, cra- yeah. like air force, you know, whatever. I watched um, fly away home before going to sleep one night in the gigantic like dome that they had at that museum. Really? Yeah. yeah. Do they have like geese bones everywhere? <laughs> they just have like fake geeses in the air hanging from wires. The, you know, the fly away home guy is based on a real guy. Bill Lishman. I went to his house for a Halloween party once. Really? <laughs> That's my really? claim to fame. Is it the underground and, like, did, he, did he dress home? like as ducks? I don't, I didn't see him. It was like a huge oh. party with all these young people. I think well, his son or daughter was hosting it or something. He kind of know. famously has a house. He could probably and find a pack one? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he has like a kind of hobbit home. It's like built into a, a, like it's underground. Oh, cool. Like he built into a hill for like insulation purposes. I don't think that's the place I went to, but um, yeah. (laughs) You'd know. Do people still watch Fly Away Home? I hope so, because I thought that was really good as a kid. I thought it was a Eh. cute little movie, you know? Yeah, I watched it too much as a kid. It it feels like something all the, you know, authority figures got as a free VHS, maybe at McDonald's. So like, yeah, let's watch Fly Away Home. (laughs) I remember one of our VHS tapes had a Fly Away Home trailer at the beginning, so I saw that like a million times. Yeah. I don't know what it was, though. I remember that. I told Whoa, you. I'm looking on uh, Letterboxd right now. People love mm-hmm. this movie. Lots of five stars. What, yeah. Fly Away Home? Yeah. Okay, making sure you're not talking about Theodore Rex. <laughs> <laughs> People love Theodore Rex, the movie which we said was uh, interminably long, and we haven't even made it 20 minutes into the plot. I know, but by the way, I, Colin Colin worked on Fly Away Home, so... Oh, you did work on... What? Well, like, w- the place that I worked at, Core, did the geese. Oh, the, oh. you didn't do it specifically, but No, the, uh, I started like... Uh, did I tell you the whole story when I had to go to the taxidermist and get like a goose? Me, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't heard it. Go get a goose. Okay, so we were doing a test for Fly Away Home way back in the day, so we like uh do cg geese so we had to uh i think me and one of the owners kyle went to a taxidermist to rent a goose a stuffed goose so we could like study it and take pictures of it and like scan it Mm -hmm. and all this sort of stuff you had to go get it after an old man was like what day is it get me a goose (laughs) (laughs) it's christmas day that happens in a christmas carol right (laughs) yeah but we went to this old taxidermist and he was this old like i don't know like yugoslavian guy or something and then Mm -hmm. uh is this really creepy creepy place and we're like, can we rent like this thing? And he's like, yeah, sure. So we got out this old goose. And then uh, 
you know, no Uber back in the day. So I'm like, oh, we got to find a cab to like take this back to the, to a the big fucking goose. Yeah. I mean, they, taxidermist. Like, you're like, wait a minute. That's Armin Mueller stall. <laughs> <laughs> they are big. Yeah. They're huge. So their wingspan was very wide. So we had to like ha- have it in the back, but, uh, we're like, oh, we got to call a cab. And then the, <laughs> the taxidermist turns to my boss and he says, points at me and he says, send him, send the boy to get a cab. <laughs> <laughs> send him okay. boy. And then I had to run across the street to like some bus terminal to like get a cab to like drive back. But back then you were a boy, right? I was like 20 something. <laughs> But he looked like a boy. But he had like butt court syndrome. Guy. Send yeah. him. Send the boy to yeah. get the taxi. <laughs> and when you came back, your coworkers were gone, and you never saw them again. Yeah, yeah. they left you at the taxi journey place. Um, or they were stuffed in mountains. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then we had the we had this in the office, and then the flyway home like production. I think the producer and uh, at the time the DOP Caleb Deschanel, who's Zoe Deschanel's uh, father. Oh, cool. Uh, came to the office and we were like, oh, well, shit. Well, also the father of Mrs. Bones. The uh, other day. Oh, yeah, that's sister. right. <laughs> uh, but we had to like, we were like panicked. Like, oh, shit, we can't have this like stuffed goose like why not? Sitting around the office? I don't know. It looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think Bill Ishman was coming by and he would just like cry if he saw a stuffed goose. Oh, right. Because the animal lover yeah. got So we had to like yeah. stuff it into like William Shatner's office. To... <laughs> <laughs> William Shatner's office that he used all the time. Yeah, and he keeps, why is this goose? Where he why wrote is his tech his, war books? Goose in my office. <laughs> we had, um, yes, yeah, so it was called Bill's office. But yeah, we'd go in to make private calls because he was never there. Mm. And we had uh, copies of tech war. <laughs> and we had the Tech War video game, a copy of that. It was Whoa. like a first-person shooter. I, no, it's not. I think you showed me footage of it's it. It's pretty it terrible. It was like horrifyingly bad. Yeah. <laughs> the Adventures of Jake Cardigan. <laughs> uh, is Tech War a movie that I we can review? I love how the Tech War video game, the box art, William Shatner's face is on it, of course. Yep. His name is bigger than the title. Oh, yeah. It says, William Shatner, <laughs> Tech War underneath, and he also signed his name just to make that seal of quality. <laughs> yeah. I would never uh, sign off on something that was crap. Okay, what else happens in this movie that's worth talking about? I well, mean, so the, there was a dino murder yeah. uh, early on, mm-hmm. and that Theodore Rex and the other dinosaurs have psychic links. Don't think about it too much. It doesn't really matter. They just do. They doesn't have really, dreams about yeah, other dinosaurs. Doesn't really come up much. No. Um, uh, against, was it Richard Roundtree? teams Whoopi and Theodore Rex up. Yeah, because they they don't want them to find out who murdered the dinosaur. It's uh, or t- not Tim Robbins guy says that. Yeah, He's that's He's evil right. evil cop. Um because they think they're two fuck ups. So so Theodore Rex is like a beat cop and uh, Whoopi is a detective but she just ha- she keeps fucking up basically and she has like a bad reputation on the force. Yeah, so it's like Armin Mueller Stahl like created Theodore Rex and they're like Apparently, Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. questions that like yeah, so one guy created created all of these dinosaurs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this one guy as the opening crawl said is also evil yes. yeah it's very it's like okay what he's why evil scientist. why did he do this um and now he's like cloning <clears throat> other animals and i think there's a cloned person at some point that they that that dies i think it might be the rollerblader that they <clears throat> kill. yeah the rollerblades yeah. they're villains they have no identity okay, uh, okay. so they're, they're capturing him to i don't know i can't i think he maybe escaped from the uh it's just so much stuff in this movie yeah, that's like baffling it's just... and it's like if, if if it could just be quiet for two seconds and stop with the lame comedy, maybe I could understand the sci-fi concepts. Oh, I, I, uh, you know that this movie is not popular, that it's Wikipedia only has like one small paragraph plot <laughs> and not the like 10 paragraph plot like... Like the three ninjas. Uh, Ernest goes yeah, like to like Africa. No one can get trap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, believe me, I was trying to find the plot to like summarize it for me because I couldn't. Yeah, couldn't it's not. Remember. Well, okay. So um, they go to a nightclub and cue the. It's not a very fun nightclub. Well, club. cue the comparisons to Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Is it the oh, ex- that's right. Extinct Species Club. Yeah, which is like it's similar but so much worse, and it's huge. It's these gigantic. These spaces <laughs> have to be so big because these dinosaur puppets are so big, and. What did you guys think about the animatronics? Eh. They're good. They're, They're fine. fine. I also felt eh about them. Um, I was I was they laughing too much like the dinosaurs once. They do, yeah. yeah. It just makes me like oh, I wish I was watching dinosaurs. Not as articulated though. Um, the the mouths. Uh, April. Well, they. It says they were designed by the guy who did the dinosaurs mm-hmm. things, who's also the head of animatronics at the Jim Henson workshop. Okay. And, but those are much better. 
<laughs> you know, know. <laughs> these aren't like terrible, but I was laughing because April was looking up trivia during it. And then she said, <laughs> the puppeteer said that the Theodore Rex costume stank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said well, it smelled I, really bad. I mean, all costumes stink. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if people don't know that when you get in like one the of those. It's like the rubber and the latex. It's and rubber. You're yeah, like and you're sweating, sweating in it, like and there's crazy. nowhere for that sweat to go. Yeah. Uh, it just like absorbs. It wasn't the guy in the suit, I think, that was saying that. It was one of the uh, the guys who control it. Oh, so no. the, he was outside the suit saying this. So supposedly on the first day, whoop, the suit wasn't working because these things never work. Mm-hmm. Like, they're so complicated. And that whoopie was like, this better fucking work. <laughs> And the puppeteer said he was like pissing his pants and she was like, you're never going to work in this town again if this puppet doesn't work. Wow. I, I read uh, I read online that she was like entertaining everybody on set when the puppets didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what they're like. The with their, with their terrains, like, yeah. Uh, screaming. Um, OK, so it's a terrible, terrible scene. It's like the scene from The Mask, but 10 Gillion times worse. It's, well, because I hate this female. It feels like dinosaur. Roger Rabbit, right? Well, yeah, yeah. or like that. So Roger Rabbit, yeah. maybe not the mask. I, mask was, I think, after this. Um, the film never really deals with like the reality of these dinosaurs living in the human world. No. no. Other than like some lip service, someone going like, "What are you, species?" Or yeah. species? They or wearing something. Yeah. so many clothes, and I know this is a weird thing to think about, but why? Are, why are they wearing clothes? Why do they, they have yeah. huge swinging? Yeah. Dicks. But like <laughs> they, they seem to have their own culture, but they want they also want to blend in with human cultures. Who they call soft skins. Yeah. Which yeah. sounds weirdly sexual. There is a there's a scene in this where he goes to the, like the police. We're department. hard skins. <laughs> We're hard skins. Yeah. But he goes to the police department and there's an entire scene of him changing clothes with this like costume machine. Okay, this machine. is my favorite scene. You're skipping way far ahead. This thing, far. this scene goes on forever. You know what it is? Well, you need to see the dinosaur <laughs> in an S&M outfit. <laughs> you, you needed a scene where he tries on funny hats. It shows his playful He's side. not even trying them on. It's just like this morph machine. I know. It's like a virtual reality thing. It's like... One could say the adventures of Pluto Nash. Oh no! Yeah, but also every time he changes outfits, he has a different accent. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a comedian. We also didn't mention yeah. like later he just starts doing like Robin Williams esque like accents. <laughs> like he does like Jack Nicholson and like Elvis and like a gangster all in a row. Love it. Like, what, what are we doing? I guess it's just again. It was the style. What at the are we time. doing? The exact question I would ask every time Robin Williams would bust out those voices. <laughs> they, so they. Had, can, oh, it's okay when Robin does it, but yeah. when a dinosaur does it, April's like, you, no, specious? thank you. I'm specious. I'm yeah. Sorry. Well, Carol Kane shows up. She's like the Jessica Rabbit, I guess, of this yeah. scene. Yeah. Uh, just horrible. Just a horrible song. I don't. They should have redesigned this dinosaur because it's essentially like to be just, sexier. Well, it's a female version of Theodore Rex but there's nothing female yeah. about her at all. So it's just what, Theodore so Rex in a wig. She needed like huge honkers. I don't think she has. Does she have hair? No, it's just. Uh, no. I don't know. Yeah, she should have That'd honkers. Be, that would, uh, more questions would be asked if she had hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's in this ridiculous Armin Mueller dress. stall. What have you been doing? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Fucking the dinosaurs. I'm sorry, but they, they, they needed, it's, it's pretty much clear. They needed big boobs. Um, they go to a, a dino funeral for the dino that died. And it's like weird and embarrassing because they're all like but slamming their tails. Like, Oh yeah, we make the dino uh, into like basically liquid and that then we then we... fertilize. Yeah. Oh, they don't drink it, do they? No, they no. D- no. they dump it, it on the plants. plants. Yeah. Okay. There's some kind of weird like uh, bio, you know, thing going on in this movie. There's another chase scene, and uh, Theodore Rex is covered in jizz. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's uh, right. What was that? That was when they were attacking the. Uh, that was the the rollerblading scene. But what was the jizz? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It was like this <laughs> oh, probably some weird flame retardant thing. Uh, so something about this movie is there's not a lot of set pieces and the only set pieces you do get are like very slow truck chases because <laughs> that's all Theodore can do. Yeah, he can't really move. Um, there's like an argument about how he doesn't use guns because he's a pacifist, but he's a cop and like Whoopi <laughs> hates him the whole Sorry. movie. And... I'm flipping through the scene where he changes his suits and he's like, he's a Viking, <laughs> yeah. he's a Mexican bandita. He's, he's like a, uh, like a Braveheart, like a, Hawaiian. Like a Braveheart again, Scottish uh, guy. Again, it's like he's the like a fat bastard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, like... wait, I thought he was an S&M gear. <laughs> I just imagined that. Yeah, he probably head. did. He was like a Roman centurion or something at one point. <laughs> Um, I, would, I, I think we're just imagining costumes that he was in. Yeah, yeah. or just confusing it with other movies. Okay, <laughs> those but, morphs cost two million dollars. No, <laughs> maybe, oh, dude. Yeah. Mor- morphs are expensive. They were very expensive. I remember back in, in the, the day. 90s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, like I'm, J- I'm James Cameron. We've developed technology for Theodore Rex. It's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Dino morph. 
It's, uh, but it's, <laughs> so after, I'm, just, I'm just imagining, you know, that uh, famous intro and he was shooting the abyss and he was like, uh, it's him underwater and he's like walking towards camera in his suit. <laughs> I did not see like, that. More <laughs> no, and he's right. like, I'm James Cameron. <laughs> we're underwater and I'm, we're shooting the abyss. But I'm thinking like that same intro, but he's like, we're working on Theodore Rex and developing technology with ILM. I don't think even James Cameron could make this movie good. Uh, no. Uh, I, the producer said in an interview, he's like, oh, yeah, Theodore Rex, we designed this film in the early 90s, but by 96, everyone had moved to CGI. How horrifying would this movie have been if it had been a CGI Theodore oh Rex? Oh, my God. At well, that they, time. They do have CGI I mean, in it, and it, is, yeah, it does bad. not hold up. Yeah. Like the, some of the cities. And Butterfly and, looked okay. Uh well, like the cities and that whole like rocket at the end yeah. was all CGI, and it's just. Uh, uh, don't you mean my animated DVD menu on the DVD <laughs> yeah, of Theodore right. Rex? Yeah, that looked terrible. Um, <laughs> also, okay, so we meet the toy maker who oh, is yeah. like a weapons um, maker, but for some reason has puppets like Puppet Master esque puppets that talk. Not enough puppets, in my opinion. Uh, do you know? Uh, do you know who did and voice them? Yep. the Kyoto, the Kyoto brother. Yeah, They're back, go. baby. They're pretty fun, and I actually kind of like perked up at the scene. I was like, Yeah, oh, I just this didn't understand why they were there or what they were. Yeah, um, I. But whatever. Don't think this film is silly enough. I think that's a big problem with it. Yeah, there's some like what like sound effects and stuff like that yeah you but know, when I people want, fall like, down and <laughs> i want like dinosaurs doing jobs and stuff like that like they oh, never yeah. really get into that they, they almost like like make this like a brazil-esque future but it's just like hinted at so the yeah. the world building in this is terrible yeah it's but yeah, i don't know the set building is fantastic though Sure. No, right. Sorry, yeah. I'm not gonna be watching when yeah. they're at the funeral and they're all dancing together. There's a lot of dancing in this. Yeah, yeah. Like late, and then after he takes the girl home and they dance, but it's just like again, constant yammering. Like during this, what is supposed to be? <laughs> oh, this, look at like, me! I'm dancing. Uh, Here yeah. I go. I'm spinning yeah. you around. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. I'm doing okay because he's supposed to be nervous, and they're like and the knocking. dog is dancing yeah, the, the, as Bud Court looks on. Yeah, I mean they're spinning around, and it was kind of cute when the dogs. What around. if the dinosaur started a relationship with Whoopi Goldberg? Uh, I would be interested. There was that. One at the club that was hitting on her, the Stegosaurus yeah. or whatever. Like, like sex pervert. Do you think it's frowned upon? Dino human relation? Why not? I don't know. Well, just to... because this sex pervert monster was like, uh, uh, like staring at her. And, and then he shows up later at the end of the movie and he's still doing it. It's yeah. like, that's supposed to be a joke, I guess. There's a scene that like stuck with me where the dinosaur, after he dances with Carol Kane, walks toward Whoopi Goldberg and the camera is like dutching yes. as yeah. if it, yes. he's like, she's drunk. I'm like, what is no, going on? No, I think on? it's supposed to be from Theodore's perspective. His POV. But yes, why? I, I don't know. It, yeah. it, it just came out of nowhere and we're like, what is happening? Yeah, it's very weird. You get like these stylistic flourishes, but they're not kind of consistent enough. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that uh, the very famous fantasy artist William Stout did work on this movie designing stuff. Really? Yeah. Have you guys heard of William Stout? I think his art is basically the one that was used in Ralph Bakshi's Wizards. Oh, like shit. That no, style I, didn't know. Of I don't know. Yeah. It seems like somebody you would know, Colin. I don't know. Uh, it's know. not something that you see very much in the movie, unfortunately. No. Clearly not. Like, he's big on dinosaurs. He does the dinosaur art all the time. Ah, hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah, well, designed, now you know. He designed uh, Theodore Rex. Yeah, he designed Theodore Rex. That <laughs> looks like they pulled it out of a moldy container <laughs> that had all the dinosaur costumes in them. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're making fun of the animatronics, but like if you watch Theodore Rex, like there's so many complicated things going on. His eyebrows are moving, his eyes are moving. For sure, his mouth yeah. I mean, I'm not I've, I've seen much 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 worse. Yeah, it's For not sure. like yeah. technically <laughs> bad. Adventures in Dinosaur City. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, but it also is just when it's in it, it's not even like you, you know, killer clowns or something where you're like, "Okay, well the movie's just okay, but the, you know, the the artistry is like mm -hmm. so much so fun and creative." I don't feel like that in this, and I don't know if no. it's just because the movie is bad, but I I don't have any ill will towards what hundreds of, of you know VFX people who had to work on the special effects people I think they said Theodore Rex has like 41 uh, you know appliances on his face mm -hmm. to, to make him Oof. move um, so you know it's a lot they probably had like 10 people to control him oh I'm sure at least so but... when they're recording the scenes does it just sound like burp, burp, burp? <laughs> is that what yeah, it sounds like, like <laughs> well poor poor Whoopi then to have to act and if one thing that. breaks like his nostrils are flaring for no reason oh, God. or something like that yeah. I did read a note it's like the in the trivia where it was like most of the actors signed on board uh, thinking that he was going to be computer enhanced with like CGI or something <laughs> That's I don't how, even know what that could look like. Yeah, though. I know. I don't want to think about it. Yeah. I mean, it was the 90s, I think it's just so fine. people didn't really understand CG at that point. 
Uh, can we talk about how good the movie looks, though? It looks good. Uh, like we the were... transfer? No, no, like the light, the cinematography, if you will. Yeah, I mean, well, it looks better than a lot of movies these days that are just Do you like... know who shot it? Who? Uh, it was a little cinematographer called David Tattersall, mm-hmm. who was George Lucas's guy and shot oh, the shit. prequels. Oh, no oh, shit. shit. Yeah. Oh. He must have been in the George Lucas. I'm not familiar with him, but like he shot the Radio Land Murders, like tons of episodes of Young Indiana Jones. Yeah, I think like he pulled because that's where Rick McCallum came from. It was the Young yep. Indiana Jones. Um, he just sort of uh, like Rick, pulled. yes, man, McCallum, <laughs> whatever you want, George. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and he also <laughs> shot uh, Death Note, the Netflix film. Oh, God. really? Gulliver's Travels, Tooth Fairy, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Wait, the, Speed Racer. The Jack That's Black movie. Gulliver's Travels. Yeah. Like. Oh, Nick boy. Cage is next. Uh, the Tim Allen Zoom. Well, I don't uh, think this movie looks great, but uh, it, it could have been worse. We were watching like a kind of shitty transfer, though. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, was right. I don't. Did this get a 4K? <laughs> no, that was a joke, you, got a you guys. Uh, that was a joke. Um, well, Tammy uh, and the T Rex did. Well, from Vinegar know. Syndrome coming soon, a seventy dollars <laughs> yeah, Theodore exactly. Rex Honestly, deluxe Blu-ray. This movie makes Tammy and the T Rex look like uh, well, Tammy and the T Rex is so much sh- fun. Schindler's List. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that movie. Yeah, we did cover it years ago, and yeah, it's terrible, but it's also like it's silly it knows like how to play with the humor of like the situation i mean it's a guy's mm-hmm. brain in a dinosaur body come on mm-hmm. um that movie is fun and i haven't seen the remaster that has the uh the scenes the back violence? in the, the, it is very like violent. we saw it we, we watched it but it would cut to the really really bad work print footage right so i yeah. think that they they've, they've restored, restored it that. all yeah as um, they should yeah that movie's fun paul walker denise richards paul walker's uh, brain bernie yeah. from weekend at bernie's that's right, yeah. So oh, that's a villain. and Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, go watch a good movie, guys. Go watch uh, Tammy and the T-Rex. <laughs> from the director yeah. of Mac and Me. Hey. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wow, two two hits. Mm. Uh, the director of Theodore Rex, you will be shocked to learn, did nothing after this movie came out. No. Yeah, I like his quote. He retired and said uh, he didn't like uh, how bad the studio made this movie. He's yeah, like, right. The studio didn't make it well. Um, yeah. So have sure you seen? Have you guys seen my science project? His other movie? No, I haven't. I haven't I've heard have of not. it. I oh, know it's like a cheesy '80s movie. It has its fans, doesn't it? Yeah, because it was a big '80s film. It kind of like came out around the same time as Real Genius, I think. And I always confuse the two of them. The Val mm-hmm. Kilmer movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, my science project is that the one that has a big dinosaur? Has a big at the dinosaur? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be curious about it. Just like, you know, again. Oh, wait. Throw I'm looking at Letterboxd. I have seen it, and I didn't like it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I mean, a lot of those movies from that time, like, kind of probably blend together, like you were just saying. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, it was, it was one of those ones that I just never got around to watching. But, uh, yeah. Well, back to this movie, yeah, though. We need to go, we, actually we, get to the wrap it up. Uh, final. <laughs> I mean, yeah. there was an explosion that we p- passed over. There was a good, yeah, Steve McHattie pretty blows darn up. good. Yeah. I was like, ooh, he we, we got explosions in this. I, I always like a good, real practical explosion. Stephen McHattie also shoots uh, Theodore Rex, which is great. Yeah, he shoots him and he goes like, ha, 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 ha. Hoping that he dies, but yeah. he does not. But he, he does this really funny laugh as he, like, walks away. He's like, ha, <laughs> I think that was him being like, now I'm out of this movie. Thank God. <laughs> that um, was my last shot. But yeah, you don't like shoot a giant dinosaur once and be like, work here is done. He's dead. Yeah. And then like Whoopi Goldberg, it's kind of like stated that she has like a chip in her brain because she's a future cop. What? Yeah. I don't know if you missed that. I did. So it, it malfunctions and that's why she's like paralyzed to the Yeah, she can't wall. move at the end of the movie. That's she why shot. she can't move? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for God's sake. It's like so they can like communicate I, to each other. I was other. hoping that she would be revealed as a dinosaur. Ooh, like, like a... There is a series of books and it was also made into a TV show about a dinosaur detective and they were like human skin. They can like pull off and then turn into hideous looking CG dinosaurs. What? Yeah. What was it called? Uh, I'm, I'm going to look up because uh, I had a bunch of the novels. Dino Dick. Yeah. I was looking at the dinosaur detective. There's a kid series of Dino books. Dick. That, that, that would get a lot of people confused about what the sh- what, the, what it's about. Paul Verhoeven's Dino Dick. Uh, now I can't find it. There's too many uh, about a dinosaur detective. Well, I really love Doro Hidoro, which is kind of a dinosaur detective, right? It's a guy with uh, a dinosaur kinda. head. Oh, there you go. I got it. Anonymous Rex is the movie uh, that you want to oh, watch, the TV movie. I've heard about that. I think I've heard of that too. But anyway, oh, fine. God, sorry. 2004. I'm looking at some images here of uh, how do you think they brought those dino humans to life? Hideously. Lightwave 3D. Hideous. Let's see. 
All right, we're looking at it now. Oh, God. <laughs> Those are terrible. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's wearing it a suit. It looks like something from X-Files. <laughs> it looks like something from the old V series from the 80s. It does yes, feel very Yes, but the V series wouldn't be a bad. CGI like head on a... Here's a guy in a leather jacket with the, uh, yeah, CGI <laughs> okay, well, this one, Triceratops head. This one looks much better. I kind of like oh, the first yeah, one. that's who wrote it. It was a guy named Eric Garcia. He wrote a bunch of novels that were adapted. Repo Men was one of his. Remember that Jude Law film that shot in Toronto? Oh, yeah, that's AKA right. The Repossession Mumbo. Uh, no. He, like, <laughs> repossessed organs or something. Yes. Repo Men. I was in Toronto when it was shooting because I remember they were shooting in the subway station. Not Repo the... Man. Repo Men. Repo, Repo Men. Men, yes. Hmm. And he also wrote Matchstick Men, which was adapted in the Ridley Scott I like uh, I liked film. that movie. Uh, it's all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I liked it when it came out. Um, okay, so the big conclusion we mentioned as uh, the the bad guy wants to like um, create a new ice age and shoot a pod into the air that has like two of every species, I guess, so he can create a new world somewhere or something. Yeah, uh, I think he. It's okay, so I want to have sex with dinosaurs. It's basically yeah, the same. I just say that. I think he's created a serum that he injects into himself and his buddies and then they're going to cause an ice age and uh, they can free because he has those fish in like his little dome yeah. thing and he's like we could freeze these fish and and unfreeze them and they they survive perfectly so i have a feeling he wants to cause an ice age kill everybody and then reanimate himself uh, and then have the world to himself and then repopulate the earth for some reason. I don't it know. It really makes no sense, people. I, I don't um, know. So that doesn't happen because Theodore Rex knocks him over with his tail or something. Uh, I think that's what happens, right? Yeah, finally. <laughs> pay off to the... <laughs> yeah. We didn't mention. There's like a thousand knocking things oh, over That's not even gag. an exaggeration. It's just like endless. Yeah. Endless. Yeah. <laughs> In April, I'm like... I think I turned to you and I was just like, this God, this movie just feels like three hours. And she's like, I think there's like 30 minutes left. And I'm like, don't check. <laughs> And I then did. you paused it and you're like, well, well, there's only, there no, 30 minutes there's only 19 minutes left. I'm like, that's not too far off from 30. Yeah, <laughs> it it there was a bad. good joke uh, where it's like some rich guy being like, oh, that dinosaur. And he was like holding a plate of food and then he got knocked by the tail. That made me laugh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that one was But okay, then it happened yeah. like another <laughs> thousand times. <laughs> they they do like, go oh. to that like really fancy uh, black tie like dinner thing yeah, or something. They, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Highfalutin of. party, right. but they have like a uh, giant cookie tray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like that. Like someone being like, nine banana cream pie. <laughs> Theodore, whatever you do, don't <laughs> knock anyone over with your like, tail. Oh, it's uh, these priceless uh, crystals. Anyway, yes. I hate Theodore. I I, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Wait, so you didn't agree with the final thing that you see on screen mm -hmm. is a, a title card that says see ya yeah. they do like a, <laughs> a, a one of those uh you know outdoor like you know we're gonna give a medal to theodore and um uh, whoopi goldberg. coltrane yeah whoopi goldberg for blah blah it's like the last scene in short circuit 2 a much better movie which i, I we should do uh, we should do that yeah i think maybe short circuit 2 is a little problematic uh, more than theodore rex Maybe, but it's a better movie. Yeah, but it's Sorry. hilarious. It is, Maybe. It, it is hilarious. Uh, Fisher Steven yeah. would say that, yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, how have we not done Short Circuit 2? Uh, that's a Toronto movie through and oh, through. I know. I Johnny had... Five being brutally yeah. murdered on Queen Street. I want to find out, yeah. I want to hunt down where he was murdered. Oh, I know exactly where that is because it's like a very uh, downtown corner. Okay, I, I know feeling. where it is too. I think I can take you. At least if it is where I think it is. It's by Roy Thompson Hall? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Sounds that's exactly what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But in the movie, it makes it look like it's a... Uh, like a dirty alley. Like, like, <laughs> a dirty alley somewhere, <laughs> yeah. even though it's like on the major Toronto street. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So the movie Theodore Rex, it Don't says... Don't me, see ya. <laughs> It says see ya, and the movie's you know, over, and then it's Send like, them out laughing. Bwah, 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 and bwah, the bwah, film bwah. is dedicated to Lorenzo Ferrari. Yeah, the producer. The father. I would, I would, oh, the father, yeah. Oh, God. I would love if he was like related to the actual Ferraris, and then it would. there was like in the Michael Mann movie, there was like a whole section. Mm -hmm. I just want to make a dinosaur we movie. We make the movie in the, the United States. <laughs> People are love the dinosaur Enzo. Um, okay, so as uh, as you can tell, I absolutely would not recommend this movie. I mean, maybe if you have little kids and they're obsessed with dinosaurs, and you can like give them headphones. There is um, a hundred other things you can watch <laughs> before you give Theodore Rex a spin. Yeah. I agree. Um, well, this movie watch, is uh, terrible. What about Avatar: Adventures in Dinosaur movie. City? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> dinosaur City again. As much as I hated that. Uh, that had so many better fun things. The thing about that movie is that there were good human characters, and this doesn't really have that. I mean, Whoopi Goldberg's like Dinosaur City has that amazing poster art 
of the dinosaurs yeah. in leather jackets and sunglasses back to back with their arms I crossed. I mean, that's enough oh, to no, wait. get you to... Isn't the kid giving a high five to one of them? I thought he was doing like the finger gun or something. Yeah, I forget. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the poster for Theodore Rex sucks. It's just like yeah. Theodore Rex holding a like inserted Whoopi Goldberg in the air. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I was right. They're standing back to back. <laughs> Arms crossed, but one of the dinosaurs is giving a kid a high five. But the Whoopi and the Gold- tagline is "Gimme claw." <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is also smiling in her poster, which she never does in the movie. I mean, maybe no, a not really. She's angry, and she, you can feel the like yeah. laser sight on her head, forcing her to continue making the movie. Yeah. Um, the, the judge of this film gets a creative consultant credit. The judge yeah, that the judge in the Whoopi court basically case. to make the movie. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> Did he really? Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I you know I would does. I would probably uh, check out that oral history. Like I I this is a movie where the you know the backstory is more interesting than the movie itself. Yeah, big time. Like the movie itself is just bad. It's not fun. It's boring and it's annoying. Um, there is some artistry on you know display and it's it sometimes a, a movie with a big budget is more inter- a bad movie is more interesting than you know a, a micro no budget movie where you know they didn't care yeah. or they're trying but it's just like embarrassing i mean i like all kinds but you know sometimes a big budget movie can be interesting but this one was just hard, Colin, hard did to watch. you watch the credits because like there's some effects companies here fantasy two film effects oh yeah wasn't that a big company it wasn't was that james cameron it was a uh, gene warren uh, yeah, Gene Warren Jr. It says here they did a lot of miniatures. Uh, they did all the okay. miniature stuff, like the Future War stuff, and like the Terminator films. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because I knew I'd seen their names in a James Cameron, and then I think the other one was D Res. You know that company? D Res. I don't know. I wasn't familiar with a lot of the CGI companies. They kind of lumped okay. the two together, so it was like CGI mm-hmm. and uh, miniatures. Right. Oh yeah, but like uh, yeah, Gene Warren. Those guys are fucking amazing. Um, so this movie is not streaming anywhere right now. It's very unavailable. They want to take Theodore Rex away from you. Away from you. <laughs> um, Gotta go to a used yeah. DVD store and buy it for two. Yeah, or I'm pretty sure that it, it's on YouTube for free in a, a, a bad, a blown up copy. Um, so that's it. Uh, <laughs> that, that's watch the it with, movie. Watch it with Joe Bob. Watch Briggs. it with Joe Bob, apparently. Is it on like archive.org? Uh, that's not where we saw it, um, but I'm sure okay. it's out there <laughs> somewhere. So if you want to email the podcast, we're at no such thing as a bad movie at gmail.com. And we're on Twitter and Instagram at no such thing pod and consider supporting us on Patreon. We're on we're at patreon.com slash no such thing as a bad movie. We have hundreds and hundreds of uh, mini episodes that we have recorded on uh, new movies and other and other various things. We've got commentary tracks in there. We've got Q and A's. There's a lot of great stuff. We would really su- uh, appreciate if you supported us. Uh, every two weeks, if you're at the five dollar level, you get a bonus up. And do you guys want us to be like stamps.com <laughs> or you know? Yeah. Are you having trouble getting an erection? <laughs> well, Bluetooth. And- it's true. I mean, uh, I could look into us getting ads, but I kind of like no! that we're ad free. I-, I I feel like people appreciate that. Um, um, so that's why we have to have a Patreon. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, the episode we just recorded is on the Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender series. So wouldn't you like to know what we have to say about that? I had a lot to say, <laughs> if you can, mm, if you, you can imagine. It's, it's literally April's favorite thing of all time, the original Avatar. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not joking. Uh, it's true. Um, and if you want to find me, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at April at Mansky. Oh, also, we have a YouTube channel, as I mentioned before. So if, if you want to uh, listen to us on there or see pictures of things we're laughing at, uh, check us out on YouTube. It's just no such thing as a bad movie. Oh, do you actually put them into the yeah. videos? <laughs> yeah, she does now. Yeah, oh, that's great. Well, we have to because we've got so many visual references these days. So uh, people need to see them. Uh, you can follow me at uh, DeClue, J-D-C-L-O-U-X, or Justin DeClue on whatever social media uh, application you like to use i'm there linkedin i'm in your house right now <laughs> <laughs> the voice is not coming through the earphones uh, you can, it's actually from your closet you can follow me on twitter i'm sergeant zima s-g-t-z-i-m-a and uh that's it for this week thank you for listening uh i hope you didn't mind that we didn't talk too too much about the movie but you know what that happens and you know what i say give me claw <laughs> Did you say, you know what? That happened. I'm going to say that more often. Sorry. <laughs> so that uh, happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm April. Oh, Mansky. no. It's 2005 again. Uh, I'm April Mansky. I'm Justin the Glue. I'm Colin Cunningham. And remember, there's no such thing as a bad movie. Man, Colin, Colin Clawingham is right there. Clawingham. I don't know. Clawingham. It has to be Rex. Clawingham yeah, it's got to be Rex. <laughs> <laughs>